This is an experiment you may well have done in class. If you have done it, what you will have done is got a boiling tube here with a sample of mechacarbonates, heated it for, some of them are going to go quite quickly, some of them take quite a long time, on a roaring flame, bung it in the delivery tube and then going into some lime water down here. Now, when the metal carbonate decomposes, it's going to be producing some carbon dioxide. That is going to go down the delivery tube and then into the lime water. And if carbon dioxide is produced, the lime water will go cloudy. Thermal decomposition is a really, really important keyword. It has two parts to it. It means the breakdown by heating. So in the exam, this could easily, easily be a two mark question. For the thermal decomposition of metal carbonates, there is a general formula. That is metal carbonate turns into metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. For example, magnesium carbonate will turn into magnesium oxide plus carbon dioxide. The only bit that's different is I've replaced the word metal with the actual metal we're talking about. Or we could have copper carbonate turning into copper oxide and carbon dioxide. Yeah. Here is a setup where we're going to be looking at the thermal decomposition of metal carbonates. In here I have some copper carbonate um, boiling tube connected to a delivery tube and the end of the delivery tube is going into some lime water here. I'm going to heat this, you need to heat it quite strongly, but I want you to be looking for the colour change here and the colour change here. Okay, so I've only been heating it a little bit and already we can see that there are bubbles coming through here. As the copper carbonate decomposes, we're going to end up with copper oxide and carbon dioxide. We can see here that this is starting to go black. Let me move that around a bit. The black is going to be the copper oxide that's produced. That's happening really quite quickly now and we can see the lime water down here is starting to go cloudy. Now if you do this experiment in class, a really, really important thing you need to remember is to take the tube out of here first and then remove the heat. If you're still heating it and you, um, if you're still heating it and you remove the heat um, but leave the tube inside the water, we're going to get a suck back happening which could cause this to crack. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.